assignment problem using branch and bound technique. This deals with assigning n people to n jobs so that the total cost of the assignment is as small as possible. Let me redefine the problem statement. An instance of the assignment problem is specified by an n cross n cost matrix C so that we can state the problem as follows. Select one element in each row of the matrix so that no two selected elements are in the same column and their sum is the smallest possible. Consider this example. This is the cost matrix for job 1 to 4 person A to D. First we need to set a lower bound. The cost of an optimal solution in any case cannot be smaller than the sum of the smallest elements in each of the matrix rows. Here in each row if you consider the smallest elements the sum will be 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 is equal to 10. This is the lower bound here. Though it is not a cost of any legitimate selection because you can't choose 3 and 1 because they can't be in the same column. Though that is the case, it is just a lower bound that we are considering. But we need to apply same kind of thinking for partially constructed solutions. For example, if you select 9 from first row, the lower bound value will change as 17. To start with, the lower bound value is 10 like we saw previously. If we add all the smallest element in every row, sum will be 10. At node 0, no choices are made yet. Note that the numbers assigned to persons A, B, C, D are the job numbers, not the value of costs. Now branch out from node 0 to see all the possible selections and find their lower bounds. At this stage, you are making the job choice for person A. If you assign job 1 to person A, the lower bound value will be 9 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4, it is 17. If you assign job 2 to person A, the lower bound will be 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4 is 10. If you assign job 3 to person A, the lower bound will be 20. If you assign job 4 to person A, the lower bound will be 18. Among these, node 2 is most promising. So let's branch out from this node 2. Node 2 had the smallest lower bound. So we chose to continue from node 2. Now at level 2, we are making the choice of job for person B. Job number 2 was assigned to person A. So now the possible values for person B are job 1, job 3 and job 4. Let's see what are the lower bounds for it. If you assign job 1 to person B, the lower bound will be 13. If you assign job 3 to person B, the lower bound will be 14. If you assign job 4 to person B, the lower bound will be 17. Among these, node 5 has the smallest lower bound. So let's choose that. So we just assigned job number 1 to person B. Now the remaining ones to check are job number 3 and job number 4 to be assigned to person C and person D. Let's check that. If we assign job 3 to person C, the remaining one is job 4 to be assigned to person D. In that case, the cost will be 13. Since we have to consider all the branches, let's see what happens if we assign job 4 to person C. In that case, we need to assign job 3 to person D and the cost will be 25. At this stage, at node 8, we can clearly see that we found the optimal solution. That is, to assign person A for job 2, person B for job 1, person C for job 3 and finally person D for job 4. This is how we solve job assignment problem using branch and bound.